I am so old that I can remember when Stanley was manly before they got a little squirrely and turned a little girly. You're watching Big Lou Barbecue and that things I want to do. And you know, I um, had Stanley for a long time. Uh, this one um, I got about 10 years ago, but I, I had a thermos brand before then. I still got another thermos brand. I had a thermos brand that was pretty tough, but um, anyway, I had to replace it about 10 years ago. That's from 2013. This was made, uh, let's see, it tells you, I think it's C of 13. So that would be um, third quarter of um, 2013, I believe. Yep, C13. All right, and this one is made of D18. I've had it about that long, five or six years. I cook all kinds of things in this. Um, well, one, I, I bring uh, soups and stews and stuff, and um, I've got one by Thermos brand too. I also got a Thermos uh, coffee bottle. I might show you that in this video. Um, you know, I, I boil eggs in it. I make grits in it, oatmeal, cream of wheat. Grits, did I mention grits? Lots of grits. Um, it's real cool to do stuff like that. Uh, you know, pastas and rice and those rice mixes that take like two cups of water and you're supposed to simmer on the stove for seven minutes, you don't have to do that. You just uh, put that in here, add the two cups of water, hot water, boiling water, put that on there, you get to lunch, you got a rice mix, you know, dirty rice mix, you can throw in like some leftover hamburger meat or something like that into it. And uh, it's really cool. Anyway, um, you can boil hot dogs in this thing. Yeah, and it works great for, you know, boiled hot dogs and you know the cool thing about boiled hot dogs you can season them you know if you want to put like um liquid crab boil in them or, or in crab boil seasoning and make them taste like they came out of a crawfish boil pot or shrimp boil pot that's you can do that you want to put you know cumin and garlic powder and onion powder and and uh dill and all sorts of herbs and spices in there make them taste like a new york uh, dirty water hot dog you can do that too uh, I'm not going to do that because I've never been to New York. I've never had an authentic dirty water hot dog, but I have tried it and it does flavor the hot dogs. And I've done it with a Louisiana crab boil and flavors them like a crawfish boil, you know? And uh, I'm not going to flavor them today. Just going to show you how to cook hot dogs in a Stanley thermos. Now, first thing we need to do, these came out of the refrigerator. You can't use them straight out of the refrigerator. You need to take the chill off of them. You don't need to cook them first. Um, let them sit out on the counter for maybe half an hour maybe longer till they're not chilled, you know? They're not gonna go bad. They got so many nitrates in them and stuff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them into a little bowl with some warm uh, tap water, and I'm gonna let them sit in there while we get this ready to uh, prime this. I'm gonna be heating the water up and right there on my stove, I just reached over my stove, in this little kettle. Yeah, I probably need to wipe that kettle down, but I'll make my uh, French press coffee with this and other things. Anyway, this is going on the stove. We're gonna heat this up, we're gonna prime the thermos and uh, cook some hot dogs. All right, my kettle's just about to start whistling. That water's hot, I need to put some in here. I don't have to fill it all the way up to a prime it, just about maybe, you know, a third to a half full. And uh, we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. So we're just gonna pour a little bit in there. I actually did fill it half, but that'll prime it. So we'll put the lid on and um, wait five minutes. All right, while that primes up, I want to talk to you a little bit about my thermos bottles. This one here has never had anything but hot water or coffee in it. I absolutely love it. Uh, it actually replaced a thermos brand that I had that was actually glass lined, but had this thick plastic thing on it and a handle and a big old nice cup. And I really liked the thermos when I had it. And it had like flat things so you could lay it down flat. It didn't roll around, but it was the inside thermal part was actually glass. Okay, this one is stainless steel. For those of you who don't know, thermos was invented by, thermoses were invented by a guy named Dewey in uh, Scotland in the like, late part of the 19th century. And uh, thermos has been around since 1904. This has been around since 1913. And uh, they were done for scientific things. But thermos in Germany, uh, that's why they call all these thermoses. And they didn't protect the trademark. So if you're uh, writing, Thermos goes with a capital letter. And if it's at the beginning of a sentence or in a title, thermos goes in all caps, and the other one just gets, you know, just the first letter capitalized, if it's at the beginning of a sentence, you know. Anyway, um, thermos is in Germany, and there's were glass. And the way it works is you have an outer chamber and an inner chamber, and the inner chamber is separated by the outer chamber by nothing. Nothing. No air, no nothing. A vacuum, completely void of everything. 
and therefore the heat and cold energy can't transfer between them. So it keeps cold stuff cold and hot stuff hot, you know? Anyway, um, I love my this one. I, repl I replaced the old thermos I had. It was glass light. It eventually, I, I broke it actually. I was cleaning out with a bottle brush and I actually broke it, but I had it for from the mid nineties to it broke around 2013. And of course I replaced it with a Stanley. Stanley got started in 2013 with stainless steel, all right? Steel bottles for coffee. They've been around for a hundred years, but they're real popular now, you know, uh, cause they made these big water bottles people want to carry around. But I've been carrying coffee in this thing, uh, you know, I carry coffee in this a lot, all right? But there's never been anything in this but black coffee or hot water might have had some Swiss Miss hot chocolate in it. You know, I think I had Swiss Miss hot chocolate in it uh, one Christmas time when we were doing a um, mission thing with my church. I think I had hot chocolate in it one time. Anyway, um, this has had lots of hot chocolate in it. This one is actually a food one and uh, you can put coffee in it, but it's got a big wide mouth. So I can cook in here. I've cooked spaghetti in this, pasta in this, but I want to tell you if you cook soups in one of these big tall ones, if the soup's got stuff in it, like chicken noodle soup or beef vegetable soup, all the solid stuff sinks down to the bottom. When you pour it off, you just get the broth. So it works better with like pea soup, tomato soup, uh, cream of mushroom soup, something that's more homogenous, you know. Uh, use one of the smaller food jar things like this. If you got a lot of stuff in the soup because you can't get it out of this too easy. All right, anyway, um, love my thermos stuff. This one's about primed. Let's go. All right, five minutes you're up and the kettle's whistling again. So let's dump this water out. Be careful, it can splatter on you. We're gonna dump that out and we're gonna get the hot dogs in. All right, I just dumped all that hot water back in the kettle and it's gonna start screaming at us here again in just a minute. So what I'm gonna do now is just open this up just like this, okay? Get all these hot dogs and I'm gonna dump them in with the juices and everything. You can use whatever brand you want. This is what they had at Dollar General. This is what I'm using, Armor, all right? Just dump them in there like that. They'll all fit in just like that right there, okay? Now, let's get that screaming again because we want that water to be hot as it can be. There it goes, you hear it? It says it's ready. Now remember, if you wanted to put seasonings in there of any sort, you can season them, okay? All we're gonna do is just dump this in like that. I put a little too much in there, so I'm gonna pour a little bit out. You know, I'm pour a little, I put a little too much. Need them just to cover the weenies. They're floating a little bit, but that's that's okay. So they're in there, they're under the water because they're floating, and we're gonna go ahead and put this top on. And in 20 minutes, we're gonna have nice boiled hot dogs, okay? Easy, if you wanna take these on a picnic or something, you can eat them four hours later. You know what, I need to pour that water out and put that on there. All right, it's right now 25 after five and it was just about five o'clock, but I don't know exactly when I put them in there, but I imagine these things are done. I gotta go to a basketball game. These are gonna sit right here on the counter. And if my two half grown offsprings, about grown offsprings, 17 to 21, they're grown. They want something to eat. They can grab a hot, hot dog out of here. I don't have it in a slow cook or any other electrical device staying on. It's not in the stove staying on warm or anything like that. And they're not getting colder or not getting colder too fast. Not in this thing. So we're gonna open it. It may pop, so you wanna be a little careful. It didn't. There we go. They're all puffed up. And they are done. All right, now I'm gonna cover it back up and I'll show you what they look like after four hours. So you can take them on a picnic or something and you'll have hot, hot dogs. I'm gonna eat this so I got Dijon mustard and mayonnaise on it and I'm gonna eat it. Mmm, very, very warm. Mmm, mmm. Blaine got stuck to the roof of my mouth. Look, um, you can uh, take them with you. Eat them at lunch. They're still gonna be warm many hours later. I'm gonna show you that, stick around. All right, it was 5.25 p.m. when I opened it and got that hot dog out. And I went to the game, it's now 9.05, so it's uh, been three and a half hours, not quite the four I thought it might be. And um, my offspring, my two descendants that live with me have opened this at least once, maybe twice. He said they didn't leave it open long. And so you can see, um, you know, it's only, it's room temperature on the outside, but you get up there 
right up there by the end, it gets to 80. That's where it loses the heat, right where the uh, two vacuums come together and get sealed. That's where they lose heat at, but you know, they don't lose any heat right there hardly at all. That's pretty much the room temperature going on now. Not bad at all. So anyway, let's check the uh, inside of it. And um, got my thermo, two thermopin ones right here. And so we're gonna go ahead and open it. And that's what the hot dogs look like on the inside there. Let's see. Um, 128 now, and this is not an accurate thing of how long it keeps it because it has been open. 128, 126 Fahrenheit, and let's see, 54 centigrade Celsius. So anyway, you can see it's still pretty warm. Anyway, it would stay warmer if it hadn't been opened, you know, but let's see what they look like. That's what the hot dogs look like. They're all pumped up. They're still quite warm. Break one open for you cooked all the way through and so it's easy to take this onto a picnic or something like that and uh, you got warm hot dogs if you're traveling with a family and um, you know you want to don't want to stop for lunch you can bring eight hot dogs here and you got a family of four each who's ever in the you know the mama or the daddy who's ever not driving can um, fix the hot dogs in the passenger seat and pass them back to the kids and you know if you got the buns you got the hot dogs and Boom, man, put some mayonnaise mustard on them and you eat while you drive. Love this thing, great for hot dogs. All right, still warm, cooked all the way through, not mushy, not split open. Mm -mm. Tastes like the hot dogs. Now, if you want to flavor the water, as I said earlier, you want to make them taste like Louisiana crawfish boil, put that in there. We'll make it taste like a New York dirty water hot dog with onions and herbs and spices and stuff. Do that. You want to put it, make it taste like lemon juice. You can put lemon juice in it. Whatever you want, make it taste like. You can do it. Spice it up with red pepper, Tabasco sauce, whatever, you know. Anyway, we just left them flavorful, but thing cooks hot dogs wonderful and keeps them warm for a long, long time. Mm -hmm.